Sound resumed. Microphone All right, activated. hey guys, welcome to Nexus TV. I am Kainai, and with me today we've got someone making their casting debut, and he goes by the name of Pepsi. Hello, everybody. So I guess if you're Pepsi, that makes me Kainite Coca-Cola or something along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Holland against Austria or Netherlands against Austria. Who do you think will win? I think. Well, uh, to be honest, I don't know who's going to win. I've never seen both teams play before. What do you think? Well, I think I actually think that the Netherlands would take this one because I've played with some of the guys and some of them is actually pretty good aimers. So fair enough. Yeah, we're just gonna have to see what happens again. Dust two, Dust two always comes across as one of those maps which uh, really can go either way. And I've just realised that I forgot to put it in full screen, guys. Here you go, full screen. Damn, I always forget to put it in full screen. But anyways, we are live now. So only two CTs going towards long, with two in B, and hit at mid. And there's first blood onto you here. So. Uh, Team from Holland, one man down already. Only around 15 seconds into the round, so uh, let's see uh, what happens. They're going to lose Mike yeah. as well. Yeah, we see them go for a long push now. They've been spotted there, so maybe a rotation coming from Austria. However, despite that, Vinita drops hit. And surely now, where the terrorist is going to go? The bomb's still on Vinita. And we've got, there's no one in B, so if they do decide to rotate. And the CTs don't pick up on it. We may have to yeah. pay the price. But Slane's waiting at yeah, we And then we see two of the Netherlands players standing in mid. Speed one. Minute, they've spotted the bomb. The bomb's down. Casking managed to take down bad today. He's, uh, he's called himself bad today, but he hasn't played too bad so far. Three versus two in favour of Holland. Cast King only on 16 HP and he's very, very close to Trabi. And the question has to be asked, who's going to get this uh, kill? It is going to be Cast King, two versus two. Oh, oh nice shot by Slane. Could still go either way, really. Slane knows exactly where this last counter-terrorist is. He's going to push him. And wow, when you consider the fact that Netherlands were two men down at one point, they've done very well to come back and win this pistol round. Yeah, it was a quite good comeback, but it's, it's yeah, it was actually quite good played. Well played by the Netherlands there. Really interesting, especially of course like they only had Glocks, they were two men down, and then uh, they went for the rotation, and then it was I think four versus two at one point. But fair play to Casking, he played very well, got two Glock frags. So let's see whether of course the terrorists can build on this uh, first round win. We now have the submachine guns, and Slain uses that submachine gun very well. Which is of course the MP7 before fall into his death, thanks to Cedri. Link's making his way towards B, and it looks like we might see a B push. The bomb is still at the top of mid though, so you know anything's possible at the moment. The CTs, we can confirm they're rotating towards this B bomb site. And yeah, and we see Cedro and, uh, and Tollinson, he just went down. And we see the T's now go in for the B. Go, the bomb's going down. And the four versus three. Really on paper, this was always going to be Netherlands' round. I would be really surprised if uh, Austria managed to pull this round out of the bag. Three versus one, you never know. But uh, I don't think there's any money in it. there you go, typical eco bash. Two nil. So again, round number three, Netherlands, they have the money. So again, on paper, it should be an easy win for them. Nothing to get too excited about. But of course, when it is 3-0, Austria, they will have weapons. So, you know, we'll hope that Austria manage to get their first round on the board. As expected, Vinita's going to take down Staff. To leave the Austrians one man down. Trabi's only on 9 HP, and we're going to see bad today. He says he's playing bad today, and he is, most certainly is as it stands. But there's still a lot of time to turn it around. And here we see Kaiskin going down. Trabi makes his way to CT spawn 2 from Trabi. 2 versus 1 now. Both CTs heavy tagged. Down goes the first one, and they know that Trabi was uh, last spotted on the A bomb site. New Fear will make his way towards B. 
right decision, but Trabby is uh, guessed. You fear just might rotate to B, and he's uh, bloody well guessed right. But oh, look at this! He's picked up. He's picked up an AK oh. through the smoke. Great shot by Trabby though. Amazing timing as well. So yeah, again, round number three, Netherlands, they had all the weapons, and Austria, well, <laughs> they made them pay the price, and now, it's a good job that those AKs are cheaper than M4s, obviously the terrorists have cheaper weapons than their uh, counterpart, counter-terrorists, so, you know, it's, it's probably paid off for them in the long run, um, Austria now, hit has an up, and uh, Trabi's kept that AK, and we have a few M4s lurking about, so... Uh, Good game so far, evenly matched. Fair play to Trappy, Trabby in the last round. Only on 9 HP, but got, well, not two, but three. Hat trick of uh, amazing kills to save the round for Austria. And as it stands, almost a minute remaining in this round, and no one's hit the floor just yet. Everyone's still uh, alive. See Trabby protecting B. Terrorists, they're taking it slow. The bomb's still in B, which is something we saw employed a fair bit yesterday by one of the teams. So maybe, just maybe, the Netherlands may have been uh, watching yesterday's European Championship qualifiers. Who knows? Perhaps taking a leaf out of their books. So slow at the moment from the Netherlands. They've uh, peaked that A bomb site. Notice that no one's quite there just yet. And uh, with three CTs on B, if Netherlands decide to push A, well, uh, they should be able to get the bomb down fairly comfortably. But if Kals King's going to push long, he's going to be in for the fright of his life. And there it is. First blood onto Kals King. As the rest of the terrorists make their way towards this A bomb site, they know that one's at long. They've realised that it was bad today they killed, which meant that uh, staff is still lurking somewhere at long as well. So Vinita's going to try and push him. Surely he's going to take him out. He's going to look behind Blue Box as Cedric takes down Slain. And Vinita returns the kill. Three on three. Weapons for both sides, but uh, Hit has that big green gun, the AWP. Which is very difficult to use to retake bomb sites. It's not that versatile, and we can see now the CTs, they look like they're a man down. Mike wipes the floor with Trabby, and surely the bomb's gonna go down. No, the uh, clock's gonna go down, and, uh, as expected. No time for the CTs to defuse the bomb, no time to take out three terrorists, and uh, they recovered from the last round, which was a loss 3 1. Yeah, and now we see the Austria on a kind of half eco, with some of them with the Eagles and some of them with P250s. And they're stacking three men on B, and maybe if they pick two of them in tunnels, it could be quite good for them. But we'll also see two of the Austria player better play in staff on long. Just waiting for one of the uh, Netherlands players to push out, but we're not just knowing that there's some of them out there and he's just waiting for them. We see them, see the uh, Netherlands players go over around mid, and oh, Case King getting a nice shot to Travi. And we see them pushing up to mid, for, uh, pushing up to B from mid, and there's two out of your player. Oh, Kaskin getting one, getting two. Tri uh, triple kill from now. And he knows two less two coming. And yeah. Good play from uh, Kaskin there. <laughs> Not just good play, five man, so well played Kaskin. <laughs> so, 4 1 as it stands at the moment. Austria, don't be too downhearted. I mean,. Uh, I think Jesus 2 is slightly terrorist sided. I don't know what you think. Ah, uh, also, it's very TT uh, sided. You got. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a lot T sided. You got a lot of uh, ways to open things. Open the place and stuff like that. Looks T sided at the moment as the terrorists rush into this B bomb site. Cedri returns the kill. Things are getting hot and spicy now. The terrorists, they want to get this bomb down, but they've got, well, not one, but two CTs in this B-bomb site to deal with. Down goes Cedri, and here we go. 
Yeah, that lovely beeping noise we all like to hear. The bomb is down. Four versus three. And the terrorists now, they have this one-man advantage, and they need to use it. The CTs, they're going to have to all rotate. Well, one of them could rotate through tunnels, but... Oh, look at this. They've decided to... Uh, Call it a day in this round and save. I think they might have one AFK. No, they don't. So they've decided to save their weapons. They've got one up, one FAMAS, and uh, I think perhaps an M4. Yep, an M4 on their rank. So interesting. They've decided to not attempt that four versus three. Hit's going to get an exit frag. Do you think that was the right choice, perhaps? Or do you think they uh, should have gambled on going? Uh, yeah, I think they actually think uh, good. They made a smart play that was saving because they're low on money now and and it's a good uh, thing to save at least free, uh, free weapons because now they can go out and get some uh, entry frags somewhere and then they can get some other uh, guns. Pushing for long, casking going down. Stuff making a headshot on him. We also see, and my guess, low on six and six HP only. Got pretty damage on uh, that long. I just see the Netherlands now pu uh, trying to get some early pe uh, get some peaks. But actually, it now seems like they will push for short and. Three men pushing for short. And no hit missing a uh, op shot in there. Missed and slain. And pretty. They're just waiting. I think they're pushing short soon. Quite push now. And hidden the. Uh, go uh, hit is standing goose, but it's open. It's, he, yeah, he gets the kill on hit. Yeah, been a turn. Then bad to play. Bad to play. He's getting killed on my guess. He's also get one on new fear. Slain one on five. And he goes down to bad to play. Yeah, good uh, A site defense from Austria, Netherlands. I was. I found it quite interesting. They decided to you know all push through short, especially when one of them had the. Uh, a big orange AWP, but hey, whatever floats your boat. So 5-2, uh, it obviously didn't work from last round going short, short, short so uh, they're changing things around. Mike and Vinita in tunnels with uh, Slay, Kasking and uh, the third Netherlands player somewhere near long slash mid. So Kasking with the first sight of a CT of the round. And uh, that's all he needs, a sight of a CT. And he will take him out, but bad today. He said he's playing bad today, he's not been too bad so far. He returns that kill and hit with the flick shot. So, four versus three in favor of the CTs. I'll take that back. It's now three versus three. Kills left, right, and center. And as it stands, really, it could go either way. Austria, I'm sure they're like round number three on the board. Holland now, they've got control of this A bomb site. And, uh, well, the last time it was four versus three or three versus three, Holland. They planted the bomb and Austria didn't bother trying to retake. So are we going to see a retake from Austria? It looks like we are. Hit's going to make his way onto short. With two CTs going towards long. And now the terrorists, they've just got to wait. They've just got to play it calm. The CTs will come to him sometime soon. Oh, ho, ho! lovely shot with the AK. And here comes Hit. Close quarters. He doesn't care with it up. Takes Ufear down and slain. Is he going to get slain? He most certainly is. Great play from Hit. Pushed short by himself. And you know, it's not very uh, often you see an AWP player taking short or pushing short by himself. But, you know, fair play to Hit. Three man for him and he pulled it off. And along with the, his third kill, he managed to pick up his third round for his team. 5-3. Yeah, great play from Master there. Great win take. But, yeah, as you said, it was quite... Not every time you see someone with the over going short and going to retake from there, but he did a great job there. And we see now Netherlands and Nico trying to make us go three of them in lower tunnels and two pushing mid. I think they will go for mid push maybe. And they're dead, getting the kill on hit. And now Cedril getting the kill on Kaiskin. Can you forget him? Oh, you forget Cedril. 
But bad today, getting Venator and Trevi getting slain. But oh my, my guess going down to Trevi and Yuffie also going down to Trevi. Yeah, well played, Trevi. Of course, uh, I think the Netherlands were three 0 up at one point. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they were three 0 up at one point, were they? After the pistol round, but now Austria they brought it back to four five, and you know it's not looking too bad, really. We said Didas two is slightly T sided, and that's probably shown with the fact that it's five four. But we're gonna have to see how Austria can have this on a lockdown. And talking about a lockdown, but today better have long on a lockdown. Oh no, he might not. Mike is gonna push in there through the smoke and drop the first CT of the round. Staff is just gonna run away. Talking about running away, I was wrong. He changed his mind and managed to take down Mike. Four on four. Hits holding this A-bomb site. He's got his eyes on short. Who's gonna get the better of who? Slane is there. He's gonna fire and pull that trigger, but Hit pulls his trigger first. Three versus four now. Oh no, you fear waiting behind double doors. Is he gonna get the second kill? He is, and you fear. Turn all of a sudden he turns around somewhat in favour of Netherlands. Unfortunately for Austria, Cedri looks like he has this under control. And he just about has it under control. Well played Ufir, you know, he was playing a bit of a get right flanking role and it paid off for him, but unfortunately he didn't ultimately pay off for his team. It is five five. Yeah. And we now see that Netherlands is buying again. And they're going for Three, two guys a B and two guys going for long, I think. No. Only one long. Kai's getting. Seeing, oh, he's going down for Steph. Now it's in one, five, four and five. And Lurlands have to get a kill now if they want to get this round home. We see. We actually see one going for short. Slain. And he's. There's no one on eight. They both both CTs are down long, and then there's three, two and B and one on mid. So Slane could actually go up and clear the side and say, "Come here, guys. There's three. They're down long." Slane sneaking up on the side. But they have seen him. He's now spotted. And now we see also the T's going for that shot and planning for going for A. But also see Citral standing close to CT spawn, trying sneaking up lay, trying to get a kill. And we also now with the rest of the CTs c coming from sh uh, short uh, CT and then long. Oh, Citral pushing up slow. C second kill from Citral. My guess, he's actually trying to do it. Yeah, get right again by backstabbing them, but it will pay off. Yes, not. He's gonna try to save it. And yeah, it's still not around for Austria. So yeah, I think that's been three or four in a row now for Austria, and finally, they were three 0 down, like we said, and this is the first time they lead in this game. So not bad. They've uh, they've done very well to come back from being three 0 down. And like I said, after those first three eco rounds are over and done with, all the first two eco rounds are over and done with for Austria. They really needed to try and capitalise after they bought guns and it's definitely exactly what they have done. They've kept Netherlands on a lockdown. Fair enough they've uh, given away two rounds but when you've got an AWPA like that hitting shots through mid, no pun intended with him being called hit by the way. Um, uh, yep, yeah, your, your team are always uh, going to be well defended so hit and Mike challenging at mid with the AWP got an orange orb versus a green orb, so that's interesting. Hit, oh, just spotted the head of one of the terrorists, but Vinator 1 AKs him. Good frag, and that's what we're here to see. Four on four now. Mike anticipated a CT with an M4 in uh, CT spawn, and anticipated correctly. But despite the anticipation being correct, the uh, final frag wasn't. Trabby's going to put the tunnels and take down two, and is he going to have a hat trick of kills? He isn't. But you fear 28 HP, he's all by himself, and well, they know he's in B tons because, well, Trabby will have called it. And thanks to that call, Cedri manages to uh, land a nice M4 bullet in his skull. 7 5 it stands now, and Austria are on a comeback. Yeah, it was an amazing round from Austria. Amazing by hit, getting the first peak on uh, mid. And let's see if we could do the same again. 
You don't see anyone, but they're coming soon. He's now peeking lower down since Slane is coming directly. Getting now. Then he gets down. Oh, it's a push shot. Hit gets my guess, and bad today gets Kite King. Setwell gets you fear, and now it's only Venator 1 on 5. If he could get one or two frags with that deagle, it would be amazing. But let's see. Venator here on long, trying to sneak out. Trying to get the get a kill. Maybe sees um, yeah, he's going for the trying to get a kill. Maybe get the bomb done, but he sees that's a day, but not this time, Vinator. Not this time. <laughs> so yeah, eight five of course. One no two more rounds to go until uh, we are gonna jump into the second half, until we jump into the second half. And well, you know, it could still be ten five to Austria at this rate. They've got all the motivation at the moment, they've got all the momentum, they've won I think it's been five rounds in a row, but the Netherlands, Vinita definitely doesn't want that to happen. The AK's bad today, and the noggin at long. Five versus four, and now Austria set up. They've got no one on B, and now they've got three on A. The terrorists are, uh, they're falling back from long, so perhaps leaving B clear is something Austria might come to regret come the end of this round. Sedril's making his way into mid. Oh, they haven't heard him. The, now he's got the bomb down. He's going to throw that nade onto short. He's going to deal damage. Most certainly deals damage onto Vinita. And there's the second kill from Sedril. And Sedril, by himself, has turned this game around. And uh, they took short. The terrorists, they took too long, I think. They had long control, but they took too long to perhaps rotate to short. And now... Taking this bomb site, being two men down, it's going to be uh, easier said than done. But you fear is going to try and make it a reality. Slain goes down to Trabby. 8 5. Can you fear do the impossible? Can he pull this three versus one clutch off with this big orange boom orb? He's going to peek short. There's the first. And hopefully it's going to be the first of many. Cedril. Oh, lands the headshot just about. Good crossfire between Cedril and Trabi. Trabi, of course, was in lower tunnels. And I think it's safe to say uh, that Austria always had that uh, three versus one situation under control. Yeah, and now we see Netherlands just forcing up. Then, actually, we see they actually have m most grenades. Some of them don't have all, but some of them it's okay. But we see them going four man for B push, but Charles is quite smoke. So they just have to wait. Slain trying to get a uh, roll, uh, spray through the smoke and try to see if we can get a kill, but unlucky doesn't have it. Mm, we see, still see them in the Charles and actually. Actually, there's one smoke to see the spawn. Kai's King smoke to see the spawn, but not pushing out mid. Just waiting for them to come, but they're just waiting. Now we see Kai's King. Kai's King going and Kai's King and Slaying going for that A through short and quite. Again, the CT is down long and this quite good play, but. Let's see if they can do. Slane jumping down to the spawn, getting one. Can he get a second? No, Seattle getting away. Trabi responding to the 4v4 by getting down, taking down my guess. And now getting down my king. But Slane and Yufia taking down Trabi and Seattle. So now it's 2 vs 3. And we'll see Bat today, top mid. Trying to go down, but can Slane take him? No, he can't. Bat today taking Slane. So now it's a two for two for two. Let's see what Hitler can do. The flash is coming over the roof. And they pushing it now. Here today taking down Fear and Staff taking down Venator. Great play by Austria there. Just about. I thought the bomb might have gone off. <laughs> Hasn't even uh, added the round to the scoreboard after that defuse. There we go, 10-5.
But yeah, fair play to Austria. We said this map was T-sided, not looking good for Netherlands at the moment. But hey, if they do go on to lose this map, we will have a second map and a third map if we end up needing it. So if Netherlands do end up losing this game, I'm sure they'll be calm. It's still early days. Of course, we saw the losing team yesterday win the uh, first map and go on to lose the next two rounds. Uh, the next two maps, sorry. So, you know, that's still... Uh, the possibility. So let's see where these terrorists are going to go. They're going to attempt to terrorize some counter terrorists. Austria have definitely terrorized Netherlands so far, according to what we've seen this game. So, Ufir is going to throw that nade onto short. Come on, terrorists, get a move on. They've got four in B tunnels. So, hint, hint. Maybe just maybe it's going to be a late B push. Stop trying to perhaps fake short if it's a meant to be a fake short. I'll tell you what, it's not a very good fake, but here we go. Bad today plays bad today as he falls down to Casking. Two from Casking before falling to his death. But now, they've got Slain to deal with at window. He already deals with one Austrian. Two versus two. The bomb's on the back of Cedril. It's on his shoulders. And uh, there's quite a bit of weight on his shoulders as well along with the bomb because he has to uh, he has to plant so Vinet is going to go for this early push Cedril's going to deal with him good stuff from Cedril so Mike took out hit but Cedril got his second to round off his four man of the pistol round 11-5 yeah and it was great play by Austria there but they should have got that round if they want to have a chance a quite better chance than uh, they have now but we see hit with that scout in mid and Travi going for that B. No, just straight in tunnels. Tech slain a little bit, but Kaiskin going close up, going peeking. Oh, and go down to Travi. Slain trying to get a kill as well, but no. Just he just hit shot Travi down to low HP. And we see Winners and Yuffie and Short boosting up. Can they get one? Went to low HP, you know, he can't get it. And Yufia, we see him falling back from short, and Slain just waiting on B still. Bad today, pushing up along it with, together with Cedril. And now, and we see the other guys pushing short soon. Trevi. Oh, no, Cedril getting Yufia and Steph taking down Slain. Yeah, and the game mentions that the terrorists won without taking any casualties, and that's a, a very good point. Obviously, when you are ecoing, you don't expect to win the round, but you do expect to perhaps kill one or two of your opponents, and the Netherlands didn't really do that, so they didn't really manage to hurt any of Austria's finances. So let's, let's just see how this unfolds. Of course, Netherlands are still on the only pistols, but talking about pistols... You fear knows how to uh, drive fear into the eyes of his opponents with those pistols as he manages to drop one. This is a good eco from Netherlands. If they can manage to perhaps get one more, it might not end up being too bad for them. Or perhaps they might just uh, look and score for a few rounds. Still. One left standing in Casking, and they are going to go mid to B, but have a look at this. Casking is hidden behind that door and he's surrounded by terrorists. As they terrorize him in that corner near double doors. 13 5. Bog standard eco bash. And uh, fair play to you, Fear, for getting a kill. Yeah, now we see. Now we see Netherlands going for the buy, and Mike is going for the orb this time. See one, one of the Netherlands players pushed down long, just hiding in pit. And Vinator waiting on the side, and it's they're kind of stacked around mid. Maybe they will go for a short push. Hit getting the first kill on Slade. Trying to get the second, but Travic going down, going down low HP. And Mike is taking down Travic. And Yuffie are taking down Hit, but then Steph says no more to you, my friend. And then, yeah. 
But they're pushing you short now and can they get Venator yet? They take him down. And we see my guess is he's spawn trying to get the one on long if he's trying to cross over, but he's not. Cash can push close, pushing short quite fast, and let's see if we can get one. Or maybe I might guess getting the kill on Central, and he sees Bat today and Goose, and Cash can get him down. Now it's only step one or two. One, whoa, and he goes down to Cash King. Very good retaking, Netherlands. To be able to be feeling, I didn't think they'd pull it off in the end, but they did. Um, uh, obviously, that CT pushed out a CT spawn with the AWP. He played it cool, calm, and collective, and he got his reward in the end. He, he actually got a frag, which surprised me. And I was quite surprised that Staff at long didn't, you know, hold back and perhaps wait and hit, play for time. But you know, whatever floats your boat. So five on five, as it still stands. No casualties just yet. But Mike is holding on to his last breath at 25 HP. So, where the terror is going to go, Trabi has the bomb near this B bomb site. Was well, two in here long, and uh, Hit is just chilling at mid. CT setup has two in B. It's always interesting to see two B setups. It's not something we see very often on uh, regular buy rounds. Netherlands, of course, they bought up. They won that last round, but they do have two pharmacies, so playing a bit of a risky strategy. They probably can't afford them. No, they can't afford them fours. That's interesting. So here comes the first casualty of the round. Stuff with the AK onto Kasking, and that other CT in there, who's going to be slain, indeed lives up to his name and gets slain himself. You fear now the last man standing. A quick uh, slap. Uh, uh, ooh. A tongue twister, a quick hit and bash from the uh, Austrians to take out four CTs. He gets two before falling to his death. So, quite surprised with that actually. Obviously, Netherlands they won the previous round, but they couldn't quite build on it. And now, Austria they're getting uh, closer to that 15, that important 15 round mark. And it looks like Dust 2 is going to be there. Yeah, quite looked like that. But let's see now. They are hit, get taken down Yuffie and we also see that Netherlands they went, they went for the force buy but not going that well for them. Now Cash King, one on four. And he's, yeah he goes down. Taken down by Cetral. So it's quite interesting really the fact that Netherlands they're only on six rounds as it stands. I mean, you know, their first three or four rounds, I think they were the uh, the first three or four rounds of the game. Perhaps Austria weren't warmed up, but Austria, they've done magnificently to really come back and uh, get 15 rounds. And we see Mike there challenging hit with a scout. And I've got bad news for you, Mike. You know, it doesn't work like that. Five on three now. Vinita with a Deagle, Slain with a Phalas and Casking with what looks to be a P2000 and I think Netherlands they've just got to drop their guns now and uh, put their hands up and say look we didn't play well enough let's forget the past and concentrate on the present and jump into map number two unless of course Vinita can uh, pull off a little bit of magic he does so to take down bad today still leaves Slain and Kasking with a big job at hand Kasking with that 5-7 will drop staff 3 versus 2 this comeback Slowly uh, fading away for the Netherlands, and it's all up to Slane now. He's going to try and push towards this A bomb site. The flashes are going to go over, but Hit doesn't miss from there. 16 6, the final score of this first map. And if my memory serves me correct, map number two is going to be Mirage. So we're going to go off for a little break.